Hi, I'm Donna Cherry, and we are here in Johnson City, Tennessee, in front of our first Hushka House, an effort to provide affordable transitional living for kids who are aging out of foster care who are at risk for homelessness. And it will include also be available to other youth in an 18 to 21 year age um, age group. And really the mission for us is just to give kids a chance. Kids who step out of foster care, who have no support system, they are 18 and they are faced with figuring it all out. Where am I going to sleep tonight? Where, where am I going to eat? Where am I going to get money to buy any groceries? How do I get around town? How do I live in Johnson City or any other community when I've been in a foster home or in residential placement for a number of years? So life doesn't look very shiny going forward. And so we just want to try to meet some of that need in our community to help give kids a chance. And if there was just something there to give them a little bit of support, just help them bridge that gap from foster care to getting on their feet a little bit and then get a job, get a little maturity. How much difference does a year or two or three at any for any of us, how much maturity do, did we gain in those years? So that's what we're here for. We just want to, we want to be of service for them and help them. My motivation here really came from, at, a few years ago, I just started to really want to do something more, something in the community, and I wasn't sure what that was, but it was my bucket list thing. At the same time, I became involved as a volunteer with the Foster Care Review Board with the adolescent group, and that really is where I started to make sense of it in a real practical way, that we have kids who age out, and then what? You know, we have this great foster care system, but the then what? And so that was the aha. Seeing kids in foster care review board that I knew weren't going to go on to college, they weren't going to have any financial support, and what does that mean for them? And that is where you know the heartstring tug happened and wanting to wanting to meet that need somehow. So for Giving Tuesday, what we have we have a budget whereby the kids who live in our houses, and we now have a contract on a second house, they have to work because we are trying to help push them into adulthood. So they do have to work and they do have to pay rent. But in order to have it be subsidized so that they can also be saving for their own independence, that we anticipate having to match, kind of half the budget will come from rental income from them, and the other half of the operating expenses we need to fundraise for. And so this house we is totally covered as far as all the renovations. The financing for all of that is covered. What we are looking for, and we're trying to raise actually $50,000, so it would be $25,000 for each house for operating costs only. We're totally volunteer run, none of us take a stipend, and we want to work toward an, a totally independent model in terms of financial sustainability. But as we're just getting up and running, um, we do have some operating costs to cover. So the Giving Tuesday event is, in th or through the end of the year, is if you find it in your heart, that foster kids aging out or other youth in our community who are at risk for homelessness who just need a chance. If that strikes a chord with you, then we would really appreciate your support for Giving Tuesday. So you can find us. We now have um, a website, Facebook, and Instagram. And so it is, so this is a tricky part. It's named after my mom, which is a great idea, except for spelling it. So it's hushkahouse.org. And so this is my mom's maiden name, which is spelled H-U-S-C-H-K-A. Um, or you can just, might be easier, just contact me, Donna Cherry. And um, I'm at ETSU. You can reach me there. And maybe we can just include my little banner across the bottom of the screen that says what our website is. 